Hello people, welcome. My name is V and today we're going to be looking at another one of my redstone creations. Uh, this time it's a sh uh, shulker box storage system and it has a search engine in it, which means you can uh, use these audio interfaces to search for uh, certain items inside the shulker boxes. So for instance, if I want to find a shulker box that has white wool in it, you throw the white wool and it will start searching for it. As you can see, it just found one. It found two actually. It triggered twice. That's because there is a short delay between the uh, system shutoff and it actually stopping the search, which means there are about four more shulker boxes it goes through uh, after the first uh, shulker box is found that it will uh, also uh, display over here. As you can see, I found my white uh, wool. If you want to pick up the choke box, you can do that by pressing that button over there, or you can put it back into storage like this. And as you can see, the second choke box also over here, and put that back into storage as well. Go we'll past there in a bit. Yeah, there it goes, and it goes over and back into storage. If you want to look for the same uh, item again, you can do that by pres pressing this button over here start looking again. I found one, two, found two, and everything goes back into storage. And there is your white wool. Put that back into storage. Found another one. Put that back into storage. And that's about it for the system as it goes right now. Um, if you were to look for a an item that is not in the shulker box system, like for instance a redstone lamp. Uh, there's just wool in here for uh, for the testing. If I were to look for a redstone lamp, start searching, go through everything. There goes the search item actually. It goes around over here and into the menu system. Uh, it will go through all the shulker boxes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it went through everything and it should have all these empty boxes right here and all the shulker boxes should be up here. They're being locked over here so that they don't go back into the system and it will become an infinite loop. Um, if you want to put it back uh, the way it was, you also push this button and it will reset automatically. All the shulker boxes go back into the storage system and you'll be good to go for your next search. Alright, so before we start actually building with redstone, we need to take a look at some dimensions. Uh, this machine fits into a 12 by 13 by 12 area, so 13 wide, 12 deep, and 12 high. Um, you're gonna have your floor at the sixth block from the bottom, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this is where you're gonna need to have your floor and this is going to be 8 deep and uh, you can make this out of any material you want this uh, whole thing can be made out of wood or stone or whatever you like um, when you finish this platform you're gonna want to add these things like the elevator uh, where you can look inside to see your shulker boxes go up uh, this is going to be where your double chests are going to be located uh, this is where your um, uh, three double chests filled with choker boxes are gonna be uh, this you can make however you like it as long as you have this uh, little hole back here behind the button uh, you can make this any design you want any color any blocks you want just uh, go with the theme that uh, your the rest of your uh, world is in um, so yeah I hope I have given you enough context to rebuild this. Um, just fly around it a bit. Make sure you see everything. I use stairs here because I like the underside of the stair color. Matches the ceiling. Okay, that's uh, about the first part. I'm gonna rebuild it over here and then we will start with some of the redstone. There are nine parts I believe. There are 
12 redstone parts you're gonna have to build. So this is gonna be a long video. I hope you're ready. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so we've made it to the first uh, redstone part of this video. And if you made it this far, I'm gonna assume that you're actually building this thing. Um, I'm gonna give a couple warnings up front. Uh, this is a very complicated redstone build, which means that um, any problems that might occur, uh, that they might be complicated to figure out for someone who is inexperienced with redstone. Um, I'm gonna try and walk you through this all as clearly as possible, but um, if you have any problems, just ask me. I'll try and help you out. Um, for every part we're gonna build right here, I'm gonna give a brief explanation of what it does. And after that, we're gonna build it over there and make it one working machine uh, together. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for the introduction to the redstone part. Um, yeah, let's get into the the first part. Over here, we have the on-off system. This is what you're gonna need. This is a test button. It's not necessary, but yeah, you might want to keep that around to see uh, if it actually works. Uh, what we have over here is basically the uh, storage system where you're gonna store your shulker boxes and this hopper gets uh, blocked by this redstone current over here and by pushing this in, uh, this one gets blocked and this one gets open so uh, it will let all the shulker boxes out it will go through the system, come back in and they will be blocked over here so they will just sit in these three chests until the uh, thing is activated again and it opens this and closes this and then lets all the shulker boxes go back into the storage system that you can actually see from uh, inside here. So yeah, that's the first part. Let's uh, let's start building it. Okay, for the uh, on-off system, we're gonna start over here. We're gonna have chests like this and just alternate until you're six up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna have hoppers going down like this. And you're gonna have one more hopper facing like that. And then we are gonna have some redstone over here with a uh, sticky piston and redstone block like that. A block like this. A repeater over there with a sticky piston like that. Going into some redstone. Underneath you will have a sticky piston with redstone block going into a redstone piece of redstone dust there and then going into a, a repeater. Then you will have a block with some redstone on it and you're gonna put that underneath. Then you're gonna go down one more, and then you're gonna da go down another two. This is going to be part of another uh, piece of the puzzle, basically. Um, I'm gonna use a different block here already to show you where it connects, and uh, that should be the first part. So let's test it out with our test button. I'm gonna put it over here. Should do that. Push them up and then push them away. This should be unlit right now, this should be lit right now, and the other way around. Alright, so that's the first part. Uh, you're gonna want to have this unlit uh, as a standard, that means it's off. Okay, so moving on to the next part. Alright, so the next part is going to be the search engine. This is what's going to uh, place down the shulker box and then break it again. Um, and this is what you're going to need for it. You're also going to need some uh, some test uh, shulker boxes. These are not necessary, but it's uh, handy to see if it actually works. Um, so to test it, we will just throw some of these in. And it will start just placing and breaking, placing and breaking, placing and breaking. Uh, until the uh, 
dispenser is empty again. Um, okay, so that's what it does. Let's get to building. Okay, so the search engine is going to be directly connected to the storage uh, via this hopper. You're going to have a dispenser over here and a piston facing this way. Um, next up you're going to encase this with some glass or whatever uh, solid block. I usually use glass so you can look inside, but if you don't want to you can just use stone or whatever, just a solid block. Uh, just have a solid block over here. Then you're going to have a solid block over there and over here and a comparator facing outwards. You're gonna set that to uh, this setting. And we are gonna go and, oh no, put some redstone like that. A repeater going like that. And some blocks like that. Redstone over there. Then you're gonna have a sticky piston like that. And just put three repeaters on one tick facing that way with a block over there and that should do the trick okay and if we take some shulker boxes and put them in the uh, shulker box storage system should stay put because of the on off system and when we push the button we destroyed just now put that back and turn it on it should start placing and breaking that thing. Okay, so that works. Uh, that means we can move on to the next part. Next up we have the search filter. This is what's going to separate the shulker boxes with your item in it from all the other shulker boxes. Uh, this is what you're gonna need. Uh, you're going to need 21 filler blocks. These are, these are uh, items that you can stack to 64 and that you change the name of. I usually just use uh, some random block and call it filler. Uh, this is how you arrange it. And to test it we will use a shulker box uh, with the item we are searching for in it. And just place it on top of here. And you see these and these two redstone torches turn off, uh, which makes uh, the item from the shulker box go through here. And unlocking this hopper over here, making sure that when this gets broken, it will get pushed down here. And that's about what it does, so uh, let's head to building. Alright, so we are going to go down here and start off with a comparator over here. Uh, then you will have a hopper facing the comparator, like this, and a hopper facing downwards. And then we will have a hopper like this, facing this way. And uh, you're going to have a chain of hoppers going in that direction. So just add one over there uh, for so the testing we're going to do in a second. Um, next we are going to have a redstone block like that some redstone like this and a redstone uh, torch like that. And next we're gonna go out like this, a uh, redstone torch. Then you're gonna have a slab over here. Doesn't matter what kind of slab, just use a, a slab. And go out like this and a block over there. A repeater, some redstone and that should do it. And we will fill this with uh, filler items, Just Add these blocks over here, add the 17 over there, and just leave this open or uh, add whatever item you want in there. This is going to be where your search item is located. And to test it, we are going to get ourselves some shulker boxes with our item in it. Okay. And we're going to see whether it separates them from uh, the other shulker boxes that we're going to put in. So let's say these are the testing shulker boxes and it is off at the moment. Just throw these in in a random order. And let's turn it on. Whenever it finds something these torches go off 
and all the light blues are in here, all the magentas are in here, and all the search items that it picked up from the shulker boxes uh, are in this hopper over here. So that, that worked, and let's move on to the next part. Alright, for the next part we are going to be looking at the item re-entry system, and this is what you're going to need. And this is basically going to uh, put the item that you just took out to sort out the shulker box back into the shulker box that you just uh, found, basically. So um, let's say this is the item that you were looking for and it went through the uh, item filter. And this is the shulker box that you found. It's going to go in here. And as you can see, over here it put the redstone repeater back into the shulker box and then it will be transported to the pickup station uh, so yeah that's what it does and we're gonna build it okay so we're gonna go back to the filter over here we're gonna go down here and have a dropper over there with a, a hopper facing into it then we have a dispenser over here with a hopper facing into it and a piston facing downwards like that Next up we have a redstone uh, comparator like this uh, with a piece of redstone like that, a piece of redstone like that and a piece of redstone on top. Make sure it blocks that. Uh, next we uh, will have a repeater over there on three ticks. Three ticks. And then we will go over here and have three hoppers uh, in this direction. Um, next we will have a block over there with a repeater on four ticks over there. Then a block over here with a repeater on four ticks over here. And then a piece of redstone dust and another block to block this signal over here. Next we will have a block over here with a redstone repeater over there with a block piece of dust, block, redstone repeater, another block, and a piece of redstone dust like that. Then we will fill this in over here. Doesn't matter what kind of block this is, I usually use glass so you can see inside. And next we will fill in some of the gaps over here and over there and over here to make sure that uh, no shulker boxes can pop out of the uh, uh, little box over here. I know that these seams over here could cause a um, shulker box to pop out. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you ever lose one in the system, it might be uh, somewhere around here. Uh, make sure you leave this open because we will be needing that space in a bit. Uh, so for the testing we have our random shulker boxes with our items in it and the empty ones. Uh, take note that I first had a shulker box with an item in it. I'm going to explain why in a bit. Alright, so I just test it. It should have sorted all the uh, shulker boxes in uh, blue ones over here and magenta ones over there. But as you can see the first one is a blue one. That's because the first uh, shulker box it searches through, um, it won't actually search through. So it won't detect if the first shulker box has the item that you're looking for in it. Which is a bit inconvenient, but I think uh, you shouldn't have any problems with that. Um, other than that, it should have sorted it properly and put all the items back in here. And if we do the test again, but we... Uh, First put in an empty shulker box, so something like this, and then test it, it should sort it all properly. Okay, and as you can see, all blue and all magenta. Uh, another little side note, make sure that you add another hopper over here, uh, so it's four instead of three. Because uh, if you are testing with 10 uh, shulker boxes and one gets backed up over here because this one is full, it might mess up the system a bit. So just add another hopper over here when you start testing and uh, sh you should just be fine. Um, yep, yeah, that's this part and we are going to move on to the next.
Alright, next up we have the anti-backup system and the sorting system. And this is what you're going to need for it. Uh, these are some filler items that you can choose whatever for. I usually use uh, banners because you can uh, do uh, some patterns on it, making sure that you uh, recognize it as a filler item because it's going to be in your menu system over here. As you can see when I take out this item, there will be a filler banner over here. And if you make it like a uh, red circle with a stripe through it, you can make sure that you don't uh, accidentally search for the banner, because that's uh, not possible. Um, uh, what it does, this system, is it makes sure that there are no items that you might want to search for uh, stuck in the hoppers behind the chest. So um, this chest is completely full right now, except for the, uh, the filler item over here. And when a new item comes in, this uh, redstone torch is off and it can go through. It will get stuck over here and then a pulse gets sent up here making sure that the filler item uh, goes back here and gets stuck right there. And your item will be pushed into the chest so that you can uh, still search for it. And because this is stuck in here, it will lock this hopper over here so that uh, no other items can come into this chest anymore and it will move on to the next. Um, additionally I have added this uh, little system over here. It's not really a system, it's just three pieces of redstone and a redstone torch. And what it does, it, it, it detects whether uh, these two chests are full and when they are it locks this hopper so that the hopper chain will uh, lead the item uh, to the next uh, two chests. It's just a quick and easy way to uh, to do that. Um, yeah, that's uh, about what it does. So uh, let's get to building it. Okay, so we're going to start off with our double chest like this and a dropper like that. Some hoppers over here so that you kind of get a circle. Uh, next we're going to use a comparator like this and each of these double chests is kind of their own system so I'm going to use different colors of terracotta for each of them. Um, after this we're going to go up like that and have a redstone torch like that. Some redstone up top and a redstone torch like that. And we are going to add a hopper over there. Next we're going to go down from the redstone torch. We're going to get a piece of redstone like that and do the same again with a redstone torch over here and a piece of redstone dust over there. Then you're gonna expand that like that. Then have a repeater on four ticks. You go down one. Have a repeater on one tick. Then a sticky piston with a block on top. Redstone dust a block over there. Then we're gonna have a repeater on two ticks a repeater on one tick, going into a block with some redstone on top, going into a block with a uh, redstone torch, like that, and then uh, another block with a piece of redstone dust, another block, and then a redstone torch, like that. Okay, that's the first part, and we're going to move on to the second double chest. Uh, which I'm going to do in red terracotta. Uh, we're going to do the exact same little circle, but facing this way. So we get a circle like this, and another hopper on top. The red, zone, uh, the red terracotta like that, and block like that. It doesn't need to be terracotta, you can use stone or whatever, whatever you use to build your redstone devices. Uh, yeah, I like to color code it a bit to make it more clear. Um, have it like this, go down again, redstone, another torch, go down again, redstone, another piece of redstone, and do the same thing as you did before, four ticks, this one on one tick, with a sticky piston and a block over that. Then you're gonna have a repeater on three ticks, going into a block with a redstone, then we're going to go this way, 
with a redstone torch block and another redstone torch and that should be it um, there are two more double chests which are going to go over here and you're going to just uh, mirror this thing on this side so I'm going to be right back and I will have copied it and I think you should be able to uh, copy it over as well on the other side alright so I've copied it over and there's just uh, one more thing to do let's add in the filler items you're gonna need 16 of these fillers again use four like that and two banners and you're gonna need one banner inside the chest and just do that for every single one of them two over there one over there and here four two and one and last one four two and one okay so to test this thing we're gonna fill the chest with uh, some kind of item doesn't really matter what you use and then you're just gonna throw in some different kind of item and should take the place over here and there should be a banner over here blocking uh, this hopper now and when you take out something the banner should go in here this should be empty so it doesn't block it anymore and when you throw in something different it should block it or it should uh, show up over here and this should block it again so yeah that's uh, all ro working uh, perfectly fine and you're just uh, gonna need to do that test on each uh, each one and that should be that and last up we have a little uh, that little thingy with the redstone torch up here it's gonna be on the right side so on this side we're gonna have a um, right a slab over here and a slab over top and one full block over here some redstone and a redstone torch over there and it should do the trick so uh, let's move on to the next part next we are going to be uh, building these item elevators uh, we have uh, this single one and these two merged into one uh, through the shaft so you can see them both uh, from inside this is what you're going to need and I use cobwebs at the top to catch the items so they don't uh, fly out of it as easily. Um, yeah, that's what it does, so let's build it. Alright, so you're gonna come down here, a block like that, comparator on this setting, then have some redstone running like this, a block with a repeater, and a dropper over here, a block over there, and it should work Then come down right here with a dropper block a piece of redstone comparator and a repeater with a block over there and that works then we're gonna come back here block over here comparator like this redstone around Repeater, dropper, and apparently that doesn't work. What? Oh, never mind. There we go. And then we're going to go up 12 blocks. go down here and have a hopper coming out like this have a cobweb over top and just fill it in then we go to the next one just fill this in as well
go one higher than the other one. Then you go down three again. Scarf this out a bit. And then run it like this. The cobweb over top. And over here, go three down again. Hoppers running like this. Cobweb. Block over top. And that should do it. Next we have a fairly easy part. This is uh, going to be the filter switcher. This is what's going to uh, change the item that you want to search for. This is what you're going to need. And what's going to happen is the item that you uh, are searching for is going to get stuck in this hopper. And it will activate this comparator, which in turn activates this redstone for a short uh, period of time. Then the item uh, that was in here before will get sucked down and this hopper will um, unlock so it will uh, be fed into the uh, item elevator which puts it back into the menu system and uh, yeah that's about all it does also it activates the um, the entire system uh, by deactivating this redstone torch over here uh, so when you search for an item it will automatically turn on the system and immediately start searching and that's what it does so let's get to building so you're gonna come down here to the search filter and you're gonna add a hopper over here and you'll have a comparator facing this way into a block with two blocks like that with redstone then a sticky piston with a repeater on three ticks and then add some redstone over here. This repeater also goes into this redstone torch we added earlier and it will activate the uh, on and off system. Uh, then we can go down here set the repeater to three ticks and then a piece of redstone dust, a redstone torch and a hopper facing this way. And to test it we just need to add a new item there activate it, switch the uh, search filter and the item went down into this hopper so it didn't go into this dropper and that's, uh, that's what it's supposed to do you can also see that it turned off the uh, on and off system so that works fine too and that's about it for this part let's move on to the next Next up we have the pickup station, this is what you're going to need and this is what's going to uh, display the shulker boxes so we have something in here, push the button, displays it and you can put things in it so it doesn't suck it into this uh, item hopper down here and when you press the button again it does go into the item hopper below and yeah that's uh, what it does so uh, let's build it Alright, so you're gonna come to the back of the system. You're gonna add a repeater over there. Then you're gonna have a dispenser like that and a piston like that. And a hopper underneath. Go into a block. Piece of redstone dust. Sticky piston. A repeater on three ticks going up with a piece of redstone dust above. Block like this and a redstone torch. Then you will have a sticky piston again, a repeater on one tick, and you go up and over, redstone over top, then a stair over there, redstone like that, then a repeater like that, and another repeater like that, and a piece of redstone dust uh, on top, uh, that will come in handy uh, later and add a stair over there to close it and you can use a slab over top so that you can still open the sugar boxes underneath and just fill in this part and that's about it for the pickup station let's uh, try it out sounds like it works let's add a sugar box can 
put things in it without it sucking it in. And it's gone. Works fine. Alright, let's move on to the next. Next up we have the pickup station opener. This is what you're gonna need. And this is basically just a simple opener closing mechanism. Uh, this piston pushes out, the detector detects that. This detector detects this one is changing and so on till the top. And then you'll have a monostable circuit over here. And that will open the thing and close it. Yeah, plain and simple. Let's, uh, let's build it. Alright, so you're going to go to the back of the pickup station and add a piston over here. Then you're going to have an observer block facing this way, observer block facing upwards, three of them, then a block, piece of redstone dust, sticky piston, block, and you're going to have some uh, material that you use inside as well, over there, then a uh, repeater, and a sticky piston facing downwards and just have the stair over there and that should do the trick okay next we have the pickup station activator this is what you're gonna need and this is basically going to um, activate the dispenser in the pickup station when it finds a, a shulker box going through uh, the hoppers and this is what it looks like. This goes through and it oh. <laughs> it will detect it and then activate this redstone piece which is this one over here. Yep, that's what it does, so let's build it. Alright, so you're gonna come over to this uh, item elevator over here and you're gonna connect the hoppers together like this. Then you will have a comparator like this into a block with redstone on top, a slab, repeater on four ticks, into a block with a redstone torch, some redstone dust over here, another slab, repeater, redstone and a redstone torch over here and that should do the trick. Also you will have to change this full block to a slab otherwise it will cause trouble with the uh, opening and closing system and the uh, uh, the pickup station mechanism so let's test this part out the shulker box in there and it should be placed, there we go works well okay let's move on to the very last part alright last but not least we have the shutdown system this is what you're gonna need uh, this is a bit complicated, well, I will try to explain what it does. So when the system turns on, like this, uh, this block gets pushed forward so the power can go through here. And then uh, activate this redstone over here, which then will be able to uh, shut down the system. And when you uh, find something, this will power, that's the item filter and it will do that. This will be retracted so no more power can go through here and this will be extended so no more power can go through here that way it won't be able to um, reinitiate initiate the system when it finds something else so when this uh, fires the second time it will only be able to power this, it won't be able to power uh, this piston over here nor will it be able to turn the system back on uh, so yeah that's about what this system does and uh, let's build it so we're gonna start over here with a piece of redstone go down the redstone repeater then a sticky piston redstone repeater into a piece of redstone dust then we will have a sticky piston over here and we will have a repeater over here then a piece of redstone dust go down one, redstone dust, redstone dust, all the way back here, like that. Then we will have a block over here with a redstone torch over there, so it's below this block. Then a sticky piston up there with a block over that. Then another sticky piston 
and next to the redstone torch over there and a redstone block then we go over here with a piece of redstone dust blocks like that a repeater on four ticks into this block then a repeater on two ticks go blow here into a block piece of redstone down there a redstone torch and another redstone torch over there like that and that's the first part of this then we need to uh, connect this to over here sticky piston and a piece of redstone dust over there then an observer block facing upwards like this and another observer block facing downwards and then all the way down to here and then we will add a block over there with a piece of redstone dust on top and that's the that's that's it that does the trick works fine um, yep that's all okay now let's try doing this and power this once and oh right okay so that's the B over here now let's try it again power this once okay this shut down this is fine try it again it's on this is unpowered this is extended power this this has retracted this is powered on again and trying to power this again won't do anything so yep that works perfectly so now we only have to connect all the hoppers so let's do that alright so these are the things you're gonna need for the last uh, couple things first we're gonna go over here over here and have a hopper chain going in this direction and also on the other side same thing all right then you have a rail on top and hopper minecarts and just in case I'm in some block that then you go over here and you connect these together like that and that's the first part then we go over here move to this hopper then link those together apparently there was something in there um, then we go down here, connect this, go underneath, Let's see if I can reach this, I think I should be able to, over there, and connect these together, then we go and go ahead and go down here, go down, and connect this to over here so go underneath like that and then we go up above we will connect this to this and then down here you connect these together this one over there then you go ahead and connect this and you go ahead and put a chest over here that's an overflow chest fill these in make sure this is all connected like that and that should be it. 
Alright, before we end the video, uh, there are a couple things I still want to talk about. Uh, first of all, there is a slight modification I made to this part over here. Um, as you can see over here, between the time that I uh, recorded the last part and um, uh, this moment that I'm recording this, uh, I made a slight modification to the old system. It's a little less janky now. And this is what you're gonna need now. This is what you uh, used to need. Actually, this was 10. And the way you do this modification is quite simple actually. Just uh, take out this part and this and this. And then you just add a sticky piston right there, a repeater right there, and a block right there and that should do it. Also you want to set this to 3 ticks instead of 4. You want, it used to be on, on 4. You can set it to 3, it will still work on 4, but uh, 3 is just a little bit faster. Um, next I'd like to talk about the um, search item uh, anti-backup system we have right here. Um, in this version it doesn't work exactly the way I wanted, wanted it to work. So this is the old one and it had this uh, repeater over here and that made it so when an item goes through here it would have to be stuck in this hopper for a certain amount of time before it would activate the rest of this uh, little circuit over here. But I forgot that in the new version because I, because I forgot uh, what this did exactly. And I found out later and it's too late to fix it now. So I'll demonstrate how it worked. So you could have just an empty chest like this and have an item go into it uh, without anything happening. But if you take out the redstone repeater over here you will see that it will start to circulate well, it doesn't do exactly what it would do over here so I will demonstrate this is also an empty box and if you throw something in here it will start to circulate, uh, circulate like this and we don't want that to happen so the way to fix this in this version wait, it's still going. Stop it. Good boy. Uh, so you, the way you want to prevent this is by uh, adding filter blocks in the chest. So just do this on every single one of them. Just fill them with these uh, filter blocks. And as you add uh, items to your search uh, system you're just gonna take out the filter blocks and switch them with your search items until your chest is uh, completely full so imagine that these are all different items that you might want to search for and it's just this red banner that's uh, left you're gonna want to uh, reach behind here and try to reach this item hopper over here and just add the last items you want to add to the chest over here and it should just switch it out and that will be this chest filled and then you can move on to the next chest and start filling this one and when you want to search for something you just drop this and your uh, banner comes out uh, the search filter gets switched out and a new one will replace this banner so this chest will be uh, forever filled uh, if after you um, switch this item in this item hopper and then you just move on to the next one. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say about the item switcher. I am trying to work out a fix to make it work the way it used to, but it's quite difficult in the uh, size parameters I uh, put myself in over here. It needs to be too wide and it can't go any further back than, than this. And that's quite difficult. So if you have a fix for that, be sure to tell me. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise I'll just try and find a fix myself. Alright, so before we definitively uh, wind down the video, because I know 
it's been going on for quite a while I'd like to go over uh, one more thing and that's where I got the inspiration from uh, because I did not come up with this all by myself it's actually a concept that was first um, uh, invented I think by Etho from Etho's lab I'll uh, put a link to his channel and the inspiration video uh, in the description and he came up with the idea of using a uh, item filter like this one uh, to see if a shulker box has a certain item in it and then sort it out and uh, make a search engine out of it and I just uh, started working on that concept and I started with this with the pickup station and so just behind here and I quickly found out that the uh, items would get backed up in here and then I moved on to uh, figuring out how to um, separate the different choker boxes and how the item filter would work so that's this um, machine, this ugly uh, nasty redstone thing it's just me testing things out and um, over here we have the first iteration of the anti-backup system I believe it's this one yeah, yeah I started working over here I wanted to make it tileable on a one wide then I came up with this two wide design no this is one wide I just couldn't uh, get it tileable right next to each other this one wide and um, after that I came up with this design this is the first working um, search engine shulker box storage system thing and this one actually has two search engines in it so it splits the uh, shulker boxes into two hopper chains and just uh, uses two of these search engines but it turns out I had to have two items in the chests because you will have to have two search filters and that was just inconvenient so I dropped that idea it was faster though after this uh, bulky thing I came up with this one and this one is a lot smaller but it was still not perfect and I was still not happy with uh, how fast it was and how big it was so I didn't make a video on this one I did contemplate it but ended up not doing it and then a couple months later I just started working on it again and I came up with this much smaller design actually in between those uh, months like half a year I think between these two iterations I was working on these ones I wanted to make a tileable one so you can have multiple next to each other and um, then after six months or so I, I came up with this uh, design still wasn't completely satisfied with how big it was felt like this could have a uh, lot of space uh, could take up a, a lot less space and then uh, when Etho made his fifth 500 episode um, special with the world tour I heard him talking about the, the pixel that he came up with uh, again and that just gave me the uh, the little push I needed to finally finish this thing and make a video on it so huge thanks to uh, Etho be sure to check him out he's a great guy and uh, comes up with the craziest things so inventive I really look up to him and yeah that's about all I have to say about this machine I believe if you have any more questions be sure to uh, to ask them. I'll try to answer answer them as uh, as well as I can. And for now, that's uh, the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, found it useful. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.